much sir i am privileged to be your student and it's my uh, i feel very lucky to be associated with rao so thank i have started my journey with rao mm-hmm. and i have concluded it with rao so sir thank you so much so i think i have seen all of rao's is in all aspects and i have utilized every bit mm-hmm. and so troubled you also a lot <laughs> so so thank you so uh, sonali you have been our foundation student yes, so sir. you have spent a lot of time here actually more time here uh so i started uh, the foundation course for 2020 mm. so so the foundation courses were exceptional mm. some of the teachers and some of the classes i found it brilliant mm. like uh, shobik sir mm. kritika ma'am mm. and then there were countless number of times that i have barged into the office <laughs> <laughs> to trouble everyone so uh, i think um, vidushi ma'am and so it had uh, told me that uh, you have to give another try mm-hmm. and uh, even that mm-hmm. motivating me to give another attempt mm-hmm. i would credit to rao sir yes. <laughs> so so means evaluation and especially one on one call i used to have with mm-hmm. sir or ma'am so on over call and they used to explain me that you could have done this better or you could have made this diagram mm-hmm. or you could have written this underlined this i think all of that played a lot uh, so i think so so focus was my go to for current affairs so i think if there is a place that i use more most in fact in my preparation apart from my home and maybe friends places is the rajais library hello and welcome to top of stock today we have a very special guest and this special guest has actually done a lot of things right in order to ensure that whatever decisions she has taken she can prove that decision right she is an achiever of sorts but she has also seen many ups and downs a lot of you know india has taken she can prove that decision right she is an achiever of sorts but she has also seen many ups and downs a lot of you know in decision as well but at the same time finally she has laid everything to rest and this year in the examination she has scored rank 41 the name is sonali dev please keep this name in your mind and you will see that this person is going to do wonders in the future as well she is our foundation student as well she has used rao's eyes ecosystem in various shapes and various purposes to achieve the goal where she is standing today so sonali welcome thank you so much sir i am privileged to be your student and it's my uh, i feel very lucky to be associated with rao so thank i have you. started my journey with rao mm-hmm. and i have concluded it with rao so sir thank you so much now as far as your profile is concerned when we look into that so you have done your engineering from dc you have been a topper as well in that some class 10th and 12th as well then you went to you know i am kolkata which is one of the most prestigious institute you were working with goldman sachs in new york as well which was very you know an accomplishment in itself so do you think that social examination requires this kind of high academic standard or is it open for everyone so i think it is not required at all if i had the chance i would have done uh, it right after my engineering mm-hmm. but somehow it didn't pan out that way mm-hmm. but so i don't think that uh, i got an i got any upper edge there mm-hmm. in fact sir uh, when i started to use my mba knowledge it backfired a bit <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my score in essay also went down mm-hmm. when i started to use my vocabulary mm-hmm. but uh, so i think it's open for all mm-hmm. and in fact when i was in that uh, I when I was that naive when I started my preparation mm. thinking that I have excellent academic records mm. I can do it in my first attempt I was also proven wrong oh, so yes. mm. I did face that failure also so mm. so I think it is the mantra of the exam is to uncomplicate it and make it very simple mm. and uh, that is why so you see that many toppers are from humanities background so mm-hmm. I think it's open for all sir great great I think this will actually inspire a lot of confidence in people who feel that uh, UPSC examination is very tough actually the right approach is the key and yes. we will talk about this right approach in this discussion as well yes sir it's a meaningful conclusion mm-hmm. and uh, you have seen so much you were our student in terms of offline batch when then covid struck so we went online as well and today are you sitting in the new building yes, so how's sir. the experience of the new building so i think i have seen all of rao's is in mm-hmm. all aspects and i have utilized every bit mm-hmm. and so troubled you also a lot <laughs> <laughs> so so thank you Welcome, welcome. Actually, we are uh, you know appreciating the efforts that you have done to make 
lot of things count and especially your countless mails for getting the <laughs> copies evaluated and uh, opening up the library and getting the study material delivered as well. So a lot of things that you have already highlighted. We have worked on it and definitely your experience has made everything, you know, worth doing as well. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So uh, let's start the journey. You have been an achiever of sorts. You have completed your uh, education from computer science from Delhi College of Engineering and then you went on to do a job as well in the professional field. Yes, Later sir. you went for I am like, I am Kolkata yes. where you completed your you know MBA and then you started working with Goldman Sachs as well. Yes, sir. So what was the reason for you to make a transition from the regular journey of professional world to the civil services? Uh, so I would say uh, that it was a childhood dream only because I was born and brought up in Rajendra Nagar, which mm -hmm. is the hub of IS. Mm -hmm. And seeing IS all around, I thought that this is what people do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like if you have to be an IS. So it started from there. Plus my mother was in government service. Mm -hmm. So she was always praising her IS bosses. Mm -hmm. And uh, her uh, boss was a lady IS officer. She was always in awe of that. And mm -hmm. somewhere I wanted to be that IS officer. Wonderful. Later on when after uh, working, my colleagues, my friends started mm -hmm. appearing for the exam. Some cleared. And then um, they shared their experiences. So I think that uh, materialized into Mm -hmm. uh, finally giving this a try mm -hmm. but I think it was a childhood dream also I will also actually want to highlight that this was a very difficult decision for you as well you were working with Goldman Sachs having a very nice package very comfortable life as well and giving up all that and starting everything afresh for this preparation how difficult the decision was for you so it was very difficult the day I put in my resignation the next day I was clueless. Mm -hmm. I had nothing to do because mm -hmm. my job was so, uh, of sorts that where I was in office for 12 to 14 hours mm -hmm. and the next day I have nothing to do. I'm at home. I felt clueless. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I went book hunting. I went coaching hunting mm -hmm. <laughs> where to join, what to do. Mm -hmm. So so it was that difficult and uh, when you are obviously financially independent mm -hmm. and then uh, not earning your mm -hmm. friends, mm -hmm. everyone is... Uh, going up corporate ladders you mm -hmm. feel whether you've taken the right decision or not mm -hmm. but somewhere i felt like this is my inner calling mm -hmm. and i should pursue it wonderful so uh, sonali you have been our foundation student yes, so sir. you have spent a lot of time here actually more time here than anywhere else yes, i would sir. say so how was the experience of foundation course uh, so i started uh, the foundation course for 2020 mm -hmm. so i think it started in 2019 mm -hmm. uh, mid mm. and uh, so it has been a long journey because 2020 also got postponed yes, yes, yes. and uh, so so the foundational courses were exceptional mm. some of the teachers and some of the classes i have found it brilliant mm. like uh, shabik sir mm. kritika ma'am mm. and uh, just listening to them was so inspirational yes, apart yes. from studies also <laughs> like their words were very inspirational so i always felt like that i can talk to sir or talk to ma'am and then there were countless number of times that I have barged into the office <laughs> <laughs> to trouble everyone so, uh, and uh, I think I was very enthusiastic while coming in but uh, the journey also humbled me that patience is required so in my first attempt when I couldn't clear mains I think um, Vidushi ma'am and sir had uh, told me that uh, you have to give another try <laughs> and uh, you will get under 50 you have to give another try i was all bent upon like giving up the preparation altogether but i think even that <laughs> motivating me to give another attempt <laughs> i would credit to <laughs> thank you thank you for that now whenever we are preparing for this examination you have already mentioned the first attempt you cleared prelims but finally you could not make it to the list of the people who were invited for interview uh, it must have been very difficult for you to cope up with that yes, situation. Sir. So you already mentioned Vidushi must have helped you very significantly in coming out of that, you know, dark zone yes, <laughs> per se. What is your advice for people? How can they remain motivated in this journey? Uh, so I think one advice would be that if you've entered this journey, there has to be a very good reason for that. Mm -hmm. And if you've made up your mind, then you have to keep faith in yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, so it may, uh, the outcome may come delayed for some and we are really happy, really, really happy that you have that kind of infrastructure where you can actually come to us and talk yes, to yes. us and that is something which also helps students to keep the journey going on. Yes. Now when we start preparing foundation is definitely a very important aspect. The next important aspect is testing as well.